morning everybody we're here in Troutman North Carolina just getting our day going just got up just getting out here to do my pre-trip and then uh, go inside grab a coffee I already walked the weasels so he's good to go it's a hot one it's only gonna get hotter we're gonna head south from here through South Carolina into Georgia we're going to Waynesboro Georgia where I got to drop off this load that I'm pulling in the box behind me from there, I'm guessing I'm probably going to go to the Atlanta area, but I, I don't have confirmation on that yet. Pick up another load, going back to Canada. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm going to eastern Canada, going to west. I have no idea. But I've finished my reset now, so I have a full 70 hours available to me in the next week. <laughs> Hoping to make use of all of them. Take the entrance to the right. Palm trees. Palm trees. I want to point that out. Finally, look at them, beautiful. They, they, they're the sign that we are where we're supposed to be. Where it never snows, very rarely anyway. It's hot. Wow, Georgia. My thermometer here, okay, we've been sitting here, it says 39 Celsius, but it's a little, it's not as hot as that, because we've just been sitting here, it's affecting my thermometer, but it's got to be in the 90s, Fahrenheit, oh, just unloaded the trailer. I don't think this is going to be enough to replenish all the sweat I poured out of my body. How do you people live in this? Oh. Yes. Water. How do you do it? How do you live in this every day? Everybody's like going about their business like nothing's going on. I'm like sitting here melting like frosty in the corner over here. Wow. The AC doesn't even do anything. It's still hot in here. I got the AC just blasting. Woo! I love it. I love it. Oh man so uh, we're in Waynesboro we're empty and uh, my reload fell through so I'm waiting for a new reload so they just left me here to melt I should have let them know if I don't respond to them when they try to get a hold of me it's because I turned into a puddle and evaporated I'm floating away with the clouds this is Imagine living in there, like being able to enjoy this weather every day, all year round. I would love that. I'd get used to it after a while. I mean, I'm just not used to it. That's why it's affecting me so much. But yeah, my body would adjust, I'd get used to it. I'd get a permanent tan. Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll have a summer home. I'd love to have a, a summer home, a winter home uh, down on the Gulf Coast somewhere. One day. If I play my cards right, I have, what, 35 years or something before I retire? If I play my cards right, in 35 years, I can be an official snowbird. And I'll be that old guy with the Canadian plates holding up traffic down in Florida. But don't worry, I'm going to be spending all my retirement money into your economy, okay? So don't get too mad at me. I'm giving you all my money I saved up my whole life. All I ask is for your hospitality. Please let me come enjoy your palm trees in your warm weather. I'll be old. I'll have had a lifetime of work behind me. And I just want to go sit on a beach in the sun somewhere for the rest of my life. How about it? Is it a deal? Maybe I'll still be making vlogs then, eh? Can you imagine how many I'll be at? I'll be at like episode 200,000. Retired on the beach in Florida or Alabama, or Georgia. Anywhere on the Gulf Coast, really. Maybe Texas. I kind of like the Mobile, Alabama area there. I've been there before. Uh, the Panhandle of Florida. I really like that area, too. We'll see. 35 years. We'll see what happens. So I'm at this little truck stop here in Waynesboro, Georgia. And there's a parking permit required if you leave your vehicle unattended. So I'm wondering... If I stay with my truck, do I still have to pay? 
because I'm not gonna pay if I if I'm I'm not I'm gonna stay with the truck. The signs all around here say parking permit required. There's a sign way over there. And over here. Parking permit required if vehicle left unattended. It's 10 bucks for the night, I think. I went in there now and said, hey, I'm just waiting for a load. Can I like hang out here for the afternoon without paying? And they said, yeah, yeah, no problem. Just if it turns into overnight and you leave your vehicle unattended, you'll have to pay then. And I said, oh, okay. Then I walked out of the store and I didn't think of it until I got back to the truck. I'm like, wait a minute, they said if I leave my vehicle unattended. And the sign says the same thing. So I'm thinking if I stay with the truck, I should be good, right? I don't have to pay. Guess we'll see what happens. Who is that? Who is this one? Is that a cowboy weasel? He's my new best friend, man. He replaced you. No way. You sure? He replaced me? Do you not love me anymore? So, we're staying here for tonight. And I got a new pillow. I went to Walmart. Diesel got a new new friend there i got a new pillow the world is all happy so uh no loads today they actually had a load for me but it fell through i guess last minute or something so uh here we are apparently 12 they had 12 loads lined up and they all fell through so they have 12 drivers here in georgia that are all sitting now waiting for new loads. So I just gotta wait till the morning. There's already a load that's lined up for me. They just wanna wait till the morning to see if there's anything better. And plus it's only getting loaded in the morning anyways. It's a drop and hook. So I don't even gotta be there for it to be loaded. Uh, so I, I, I don't have to move from here. I'm gonna stay here in Waynesboro for the night and uh, figure out what's going on tomorrow. If, they'll, if uh, nothing better pops up for them, uh, that load I'll go and pick it up probably tomorrow afternoon, just south of Atlanta. And that's going back to Winnipeg, Manitoba. So I guess I'll be going home for next weekend probably. I'm about three days, three full days from home, maybe a bit more. Uh, let's see how far away we are. Waynesboro is in the eastern part of Georgia. Come on, recognize my face phone. I'm trying to open up my phone here. Come on, oh there it is, okay. I think I'm quite a ways from Atlanta. Let me zoom out here. Okay, oh yeah, I'm like across the state from Atlanta. Georgia's not very big either, so it'll probably take a few hours to get there, switch trailers, and start heading home. So today's Monday, so it'll be Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll probably be home Thursday night or Friday sometime during the day, and I'll probably be home for a reset then. Well, not much of a video for you guys today. I've got to end it here, so a really short one. Tomorrow will be a little bit better. So no load for us, but tomorrow, don't worry, I'm already in the future. Uh, tomorrow we have a load coming out of Auburn, Alabama. I gotta go over there, it's about three and a half, three and a half, four and a half hours from here. I'm gonna go to the Love's truck stop near uh, Columbus, I believe that's the town that it was called. It's Smith Station, Alabama. Hopefully find a parking spot for us there. And they have laundry there, so hopefully I can do some laundry then, because I haven't been able to find a place with laundry. Where we did our reset the last time, up in North Carolina, they didn't have laundry there. They don't have laundry here, so. <laughs> I need to wash some of my pants. I'm running out of pants. Look at this. I'm wearing my old pants with the with the holes in it already. What is this world coming to? So I'll see you right here tomorrow. Uh, sorry I couldn't show you much more. I wish I, I wish I had more to show you, but it is what it is. The load fell through. We got another one now though, so I'll see you tomorrow to go pick that up. It's going to Alberta, I believe.